Welcome back, Akron fans, to another exhibition match for Zero K. Sorry. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. There might be some Akron fans watching. I don't know. But I know Zero K fans are watching, so that's who I'm targeting this to right now. Anyway. Game is going to be between God and Sakdoth on... I can't remember the name of this map. On Alien Desert. So we shall begin. So God is going for Hovercrafts and Sakdoth is going for... Oh, well, isn't this familiar? God and Sakdoth. God going for Hovercrafts. Sakdoth probably going for Light Vehicles and there it is. So in case you don't know, God and Sakdoth are respectively the best and second best players at 0k. And they've been having for some time now... It seems like a bit of a, either a competition or just science experiment to figure out how powerful scrubbers can be on mass. How powerful God's scrubbers can be, that sh I should say, and what can be the counter them. And the last time we saw this, Sanctos was able to actually counter pretty effectively using darts. And scrubbers, we, or sorry, scrubbers, I don't remember doing a great job against the scrubbers, but at this point, God actually isn't, okay, he's got to be getting more scrubbers. Two so far, he's Getting more defenses early on. Now, this map is not the hugest map in the world, so I'm not entirely surprised that it's playing out like this, but still, I do recall a fair amount of darts were able to actually deal with the scrubbers, effectively. But, maybe I am mistaken. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. At any rate, Scorchers are the main focus, as are Slashers. Okay, this is where we're looking for. Light Vehicles, Slashers. Unit. Go together like peanut butter and jam. They are basically the easiest way for light vehicles to deal with anything, just get defenses up. Instead of building defenders, build slashers, because slashers do the same thing, but can move. Very effective that way. And I'm a little bit surprised, well, I'm not entirely surprised Sakdoth didn't build them immediately, but I imagine that they will be very effective. They're, what the heck is going on? Okay, I imagine they'll be very effective. They are pretty typical for what is done while Sakdoth does that. God is getting more scrubbers. And against a Slasher and three Scorchers, well, we'll see how this works out. I think the Slashers will probably work okay, but... Well, the Slashers should be fine. The Scrubbers, that's where it becomes a bit tricky, because they can get one-shot pretty easily, and with the wrong positioning, they can get one-shot simultaneously, so it's going to be very difficult for that. Now, God, on the other hand, still just going for Scrubbers, and actually expanding pretty quickly. Sakdoth expanding as well, getting himself set up, but he's a bit more focused on... Actually, God's a bit more focused on getting up a wall of power plants. It looks like... Now, that's all his commander's planning on doing so far, but... Yeah, it's interesting. He's, he is going for that. Wall of power plants rather than going for... Or a bit of a small wall of power plants at the south side. So he is going to have a slightly easier time to deal with things coming in and try to deal with this metal extractor over here. As his scrubbers go along the west side of the map to deal with Sakdoth's expansion attempts early on. Sakdoth is not expanding naked, but he doesn't have the turret covering everything, and... Scrubber's actually doing a pretty decent job. This Slasher not quite in position, but the Scrubber doing okay. Dealing with this, and Sakdoth does not have his commander morphed, and it's doing what damage it can, and actually one of the Scrubbers is going to go down to it. But still, five Scrubbers. God has five Scrubbers. That is dangerous. You do not want that to happen when you're playing against God. He is pretty scary when it comes to his Scrubbers. And unfortunately for this Slasher, the Scrubbers are going to be able to take care of it as it gets distracted by the commander. That Scrubber... Sorry, it's... That was Scrubbers there, getting rid of the Slasher very effectively. Now, Sakdoth is starting to build up, defend his forces a bit better, get a few more Slashers, and that is a pretty good position to be in. But, big thing is that the economies are fairly even, that is important. However, God does have a lot of Scrubbers, and these Slashers doing the best they can, but even with that, they aren't quite able to deal a whole lot of damage against the Scrubbers. God is very much ahead at this point when it comes to offensive forces. He's got... Actually, got very much ahead in economy too, thanks to Reclaim, but mostly it's the fact that he has a dozen Scrubbers to Sakdoth's, like, half dozen Slashers. Now, the Slashers are... Actually, let's see, does Sakdoth have the ability to see this? Does he know what's going on? There is no radar! There is no radar! Sakdoth does not know that these Scrubbers are coming in. He's moving out! He's out of position! God is coming in and is going to be able to take care of this factory, no problem, with these dozen, or nearly a dozen Scrubbers. Well, 10 scrubbers, but it's close enough. And there are the windmill and the factory going soon after. Slasher doing what it can to deal with this, but... Slasher not even able to get out of the factory before dying. The scrubbers are just vicious about this. 
And these slashes are terribly out of position. Slashes are all about being in position. There goes the factory. Sektos, not, just gonna, not sure if he's going to throw in the towel quite yet, but it's going to be extremely hard for him to rebuild with these slashes coming in. Sorry, scrubbers coming in and just tearing everything apart. His slashers are going to be able to defend somewhat, but they are just out of position completely. And God is pushing slashers, sorry, pushing scrubbers even more. Everything starts with an S here. <laughs> Remembering all the names, they all start with S. But anyway, the scrubbers, the hovercraft units here. The scrubbers, slashers. The slashers are the ones that are currently dead. And the scrubbers are the ones that are doing the killing. Although admittedly, a lot of the scrubbers have gone down, but still, that is a huge amount of damage. And I think Sakdoth is probably going... No, he's not going to throw in the towel. He's actually morphing his commander. He's setting himself up. He's not done yet. Actually, I wonder if he has a resurrection. He might have a Lazarus device on his level 2 commander. In that case, he probably is going to resurrect the late vehicle factory and then start rebuilding from there while God just gets more and more scrubbers. But also, God gets more and more metal extractors. That's an important thing there. No, he is not going for resurrection. He's going for reclaim, or at least going after reclaim to get his factory here. But nope, he is going entirely for reclaim. Sakdoth, I guess, wants to make sure that he will have enough metal to rebuild. Either that or he's just going for a full aggressive commander. Let's see. He does not have a Lazarus device on his commander. He has a Karaparos Nanolathe. He has a lot of build power. That's the important thing. So it explains why he was reclaiming what he could. Getting as much metal as he could in order to have a lot of metal in reserve. To make use of all that build power that he has now. Unit under attack. And now with basically a moving laser turret, he does have a fair amount of power. But Sakta does not have anywhere near enough power to get rid of these scrubbers. They are going to finish this game, and God will take this game. Mind you, this is an exhibition match, so it's just them playing around a bit. But that is game. Zakdoth has no way out of this. He is going to surrender now. If you enjoyed that, I'll have another one in just a couple minutes. Please stay tuned.